Hello and welcome to another developer walkthrough. Uh, I'm John and with me is James. Uh, uh, John, uh, someone's what's... damaged this module. What's going on? Oh, 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 oh. It must have been amazing. Look, look what they've done, John. It's awful. You're looking skeptical. I'm a little skeptical. Um... But I think we should um, repair this module, John. It looks like there's been some sort of crowbar damage to the to the wires. It's a good thing that I don't have a crowbar. Don't look in the video to see if I did have one because I didn't. It's not one checking. Okay. Right. Okay. So this is actually a video about engineering. Um, well, not about engineering as a wider subject, but uh, specifically the engineering room. Um, here in uh, the Final Frontier, Gary's mod game mode uh, and what its purpose is. So, uh, for for unknown reasons, uh, modules were damaged and we've got to repair them. Uh, no so one's to blame. No one's to blame. Um, so let's let's go through what we've got here. Uh, first off, I guess the UI layout. Sure. Yeah. So unlike in FTL, engineering is about repairing things. In FTL, it was just about um, how much power your engines had. Which was a little bit boring, I thought. Anyway, yeah. so um, <laughs> so, yeah, so I, 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 th about... I think this should be slightly more. I, I think this is slightly more skillful, um, to be honest. And in fact, it's probably one of the most skilled things that you can do on. You know, one of the most skilled roles you'll actually be taking up on the ship, to be honest. Yeah, it's like when we were designing it, we were thinking like, how's repairing going to work? Is it just going to be a boring thing where you're hitting something with a crowbar or holding or, or, stuff or holding a welding tool to something? Yeah, waiting for a progress bar to fill up. I think we've got quite a nice solution to that, though. Yeah, this uh, this is actually oh, I. I'm, I'm a little excited, James. Me too. Good. Let's show this off then. Okay, so um, this is the system screen for this system. You'll see there are two empty spaces here, which is where you'll put modules. And then you can do three actions on them. You can compare them, splice them, or transcribe them. Uh, John, can you put in some modules? If you do one on the left, I'll do the one on the right. Okay, right. We'll use two of the broken ones so we can see what happens. Yeah, sure. Okay, so these are from different systems, which is quite important to note, that you can actually... Um, put uh, modules from different systems in. Uh, so I nudge that in there. There you go. So now you can see it on the screen when you come up here. Yep. There you go. So you can see, yeah, that's the one on the left, that's the one on the right. So you'll see that I can only do two of these actions, splice and transcribe, because comparing only works between two modules of the same type. So two shield modules or two power modules, for example. Um, comparing will basically tell you which one's more efficient. But what we're going to do now is splicing, which is the main action you'll do to repair things. What this will do is it will... Um, Look at each uh, tile going from left to right, going down the um, down the module one at a time. Looking at the uh, either side, if one's damaged and one isn't, it will copy over the non-damaged one. Otherwise, it will skip past it. So let's do that now. So you can see as it's working, it should start to yeah, it will start to copy the damaged ones from the other side. So this one will become blue. This one will become blue as well. And you can see yeah, the spikes appear on the one that's being repaired. So you can tell what's going on. Obviously you can leave this and it'll just get about this job. You don't have to watch it all the time. You can go and do other things in the ship. It's just best half done now. So yep. you can see now this one's repairing. Yep. It's and, almost done. And, that, and for example, that one there and those two up there couldn't repair because they they were both broken on each one. That's right. And it's done. That's... There you go. Fresh, baked... Fresh, freshly baked power modules. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Um, well, there you go. So uh, these are, you know, obviously in a better state now. But uh, well, they're still a bit broken, James. They are. So let's um, repair them on the way. Okay. Uh, actually, let's use the. Um, I have here. Let's do it. Which I, I'll do it for the power modules, I guess. Okay. I have here the most efficient power module possible, and I'll, I'll repair the one that's only got three of them damaged here. Oh, I see how it is. What I probably oh, wasn't good one. enough. Like, <laughs> well, no, that one's fine. already repaired, so there's it's fine. not really much it's, point. It's fine, James. It's fine. Okay, so we've got two modules of the same type in now, and this one's slightly damaged, but the ones on the other side, um, uh, it has some to replace it when I splice it, so I'll just quickly splice it here. And you'll see that where it finds a tile that um, they're both fixed or they're both broken, it'll skip past it really quickly. The ones that it has to repair take a bit longer. Just one left to do. You wouldn't have to watch this in-game. You don't have to. But James, this is one of the most riveting things I've ever seen. Sounds a little insincere. 
Okay, so now I've got two modules that are fully repaired. I can compare them because they're the same type. It will tell me which one's more efficient. This takes a while, not as long as comparing the entire thing. Um, you don't have to watch this, you can listen to some Nyan Jazz instead. So now it's done, you can see the left module is more efficient, it tells us here. Uh, which would obviously be true because the left one is the most efficient in the universe because we prepared it earlier. But obviously its use is if you've just scavenged a bunch of models from a ship, you know, you've, you've used the transporter room to get them on board to yours, you know, um, you know, while you're flying through space looking for something else to do, uh, you know, you might want to spend some time in here just trying to figure out um, sort of by comparing it to one that you know is relatively, you know, low efficiency or whatever, you know, with the one, the horde that you've got, you know, which one's the best one to put where? And you can do Yeah, so you'll this. pick the crew member that you don't want to... I don't know, if you don't really trust them to use weapons or something, you might put them in here just comparing things. Then trying to find out which one's the best one out of the recent haul. That's it. Defeating a ship or whatever. Which if you didn't trust them, it's kind of a dodgy thing to do, because to be honest... <laughs> oh, this one that's completely broken, this is the most efficient, yeah. If I was a spy, I would definitely... Uh, <laughs> this one that's ticking and has a countdown on the front. <laughs> it doesn't look like a module at all. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so after you found the one for each type, um, that's most efficient. You might use it as a template when you're repairing other ones. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, let's go through the final feature, which is transcribe. Transcribing. Transcribing is like the opposite of splicing. So if I just damn it, oh, I don't have a crowbar. Damn. Hang on, I'll just give myself a crowbar somehow. So um, now that I have a crowbar, um, I can damage this one. There you go. So this has one tile damage, which is actually quite useful. And now using transcribe, I can copy the damaged tile to the other side, so it will damage the tile on the other side to match. But James, isn't this detrimental <laughs> to the other tile? It's actually useful if you want to... This is like the other function of repairing. You can use it to um, deliberately engineer the most efficient um, module. So if you have like... Um, if you had two modules that are exactly the same, then you remove t one tile on one of them and flip it to the other colour. So you have two modules that are exactly the same except for one tile, where one's green and one's blue. Then you can compare them and see which uh, which one for that tile is more efficient, if that tile should be green or blue. And if you do that for every tile, eventually you'll have the most efficient module possible. Oh, aren't you so pleased I set that question up? Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's, so, uh, it's actually a really, it's actually a really uh, uh, nice system to, you know, uh, allow you to really get into specifics and, and, and craft a, a module that's you know the most efficient if you you know if you spend time on it so once again if you actually involve yourself in it and you know master the skill um, you know because an anyone can learn that anyone can do the basic repairing uh, you know by taking a fully repaired module and fully repairing the other one but it's yeah, someone who really a button that's all need exactly to do. but it's someone who really gets into it um, that's really gonna you know have it pay off and 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 actually develop a skill in the game that will be you know, really sought after. Yeah, so you can improve your modules either by looting from other ships and comparing, or by deliberately trying to engineer one yourself. Okay, uh, and so I guess you know we've re we've repaired those modules now, uh, and well, but it's every everything's everything's not quite up to uh, scratch. Uh, I've left James up to actually putting them back uh, there, which he's assured me he's done very well. So, um, um, James. Did I do it, John? You did good, man. You did good. <laughs>